Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It is November 14th. I can't believe we're almost, um, well, we're halfway through November already. Um, it is almost December, you guys. Not to rush ourselves ahead. Let's be present in the moment. Today, um, our topic, a love that is felt, comes out of Isaiah 29 and 13. The uh, morning version is the New International Version in IV. And it reads, these people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is based on merely human rules that they have been taught. The text says, think about the most romantic movie you've ever seen. Two people portray an even more beautiful love on the silver screen. Taking their heart on a romantic adventure as they play out passion right before our eyes. But behind the camera, do those two people really feel that love? They are actors. They are good at what they do. They can make that love story look so very real. Is love really love when given outwardly but not felt inwardly? Even though it may look to everyone around you that you are passionately in love, if that love is not genuine in your heart, then it's not love at all. The prayer for this morning is, Lord, I want to say, I want what I say to reflect what is coming from my heart. Help me to be honest about my worship toward you today. Isaiah 29 and 13 from the evening comes from the New Christian Version and it reads, the NCV Version, and it reads, These people worship me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is based on nothing but human rules. The text says, If our worship is born out of true love and intimacy, it will go much further than the outward displays of affection. Our love will, will permeate our hearts and our lives. We will not just look like someone in love, but we will be in love. Do you feel like you are in love with God tonight? Express your love to him and la allow his love to overwhelm your heart in return. The prayer for the evening is, Father God, thank you for a moment of reflection I know that I often talk about spiritual things and yet my heart is far from you. Forgive me for those times. Instead of religious actions or words, help me to express my true love for you that comes from deep within. The question for ourselves today, November 14th is, when have you most felt God's love for you? How can you show him your love today? How can you show him your love today? Listen, if you don't feel it, don't do it. If your heart's not in it, don't do it, right? And that goes for anything. That goes for anything, right? Helping a neighbor. OK. If, 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 if doing work at church, if your heart is not in it, you're not feeling it. It's just something you do out of obligation, out of routine. Cut it out. Cut it out. Go find something else to do with your time. Right. If you're just going through the motions because this is how mama did it and daddy did it and, and big mama did it you know this how they told us to do it at church 
If you're getting up every Sunday and just going to church because that's what your peoples always did. But you're not seeing a difference in your life. You're not seeing a change in your your lifestyle or or, or the the um you're not growing in Christ. Because you're just going through the motions and it's not because you definitely, definitely, definitely love God and want to be a part of it. It's my personal opinion that you should just not do it. Now, some people feel like, you know, I went to a meeting one night and my heart wasn't right. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Some people feel like If they just keep going and they just keep doing, something's going to hit them. Something's going to hit them in the center of the top of their heads. They're going to be forever changed. And then they're going to be this, this, this super, super devout believer. But honest to goodness, if your heart isn't in it, don't do it. Don't do it. If you feel as though you're, after all that we've done from January 1 to to today, November 14th, and you don't feel change or difference or as though you're doing it right, that's what your prayer should be. That is what your prayer should be. Your prayer shouldn't be rhetoric from Miss Honey or mimicking a post that you saw. You know, don't do that. Be direct, be clear with God. God, I, 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 I'm lost here. I want to connect with you, but I, I just feel as though I'm not understanding and I'm not connecting. It is better to have that conversation with God than to go day after day after day and be fake. And just be traditional do the traditional things, right? But reaping no benefit, right? Because it is a definitely a two-way relationship. And if you take him fugazi, what you're going to get back is a dud, right? It's going to be just this, this stillness, this, like I said, a dud, like nothingness. He's he, he's going to love you unconditionally. That never changes. Right? There's not going to be a pox on your household. He's he 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 doesn't operate like that. But the the full benefits of loving him is its own reward. Don't be fake. Just be honest. It's like being in a relationship, right? If you Those of you, even if you're married now, if you remember being out on a date, right? And uh, you might go out a couple of two, three times and um, you feel like, yeah, this is going good. The chemistry's great. Uh, Something may happen. I don't know. It may be a red flag for them or a deal breaker for them. And they ghost you. Right? Or... um, you realize that you're just a placeholder, right? Maybe you don't get ghosted. Maybe you're just, you realize you're just a placeholder. And that means when the real one, the one that truly has their heart comes along, then they move you out of that person's spot. You were just holding it and keeping it warm. That's super, super hurtful, right? Because you felt like, oh, we're growing and we're building and this is something that's formulating, right? And soon it's going to lead to this whatever place. And you realize you were just holding a spot. Not foolishly. All the signals were there. They just weren't genuine. They were just fugazi. Okay? Okay. Whatever I do, I'm at a point in my life that whatever I do, I want it to be genuine. I want to be genuine as a a content creator. I want to show you all genuine friendship and love. 
my prayers for you are genuine, right? Else I'm not doing it. I don't, I could, I, you know, it's no need. <laughs> it's, it's no, of no benefit to me, right? It's of no benefit to you. I show you love and friendship because I love you and I consider myself your friend, right? If I go to a job, I don't go to a job to just sit on my butt. If I said I'm going to do this job, I'm going to do it in the spirit of excellence. I'm going to do the job you paid me to do, right? I'm not going to come in here and spend more time uh, dodging the work than doing the work. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my energy. It's a waste of my gift and it's a waste of my calling. Right? Don't waste your time. Be direct with God. If you don't feel the connection, if you don't know how to make the connection, talk to God about that. If you feel that your distraction is too great for you alone to sever that tie, talk to God about that. If you feel that there's been some trauma that has happened to you spiritually because of your upbringing in church, and that is keeping you from giving your full heart, mind, body, and soul to Christ, talk to God about that. Just like I'm talking to you, talk to him. Right? But whatever you do for God, you do it with your whole heart. Huh? You do it with your whole heart. Right? If you sign your name, you follow it. If you give your word, you follow it. Giving honor to Christ, who is the head of my life. If you give it, follow it. Right? Amen? Amen. If you're not going to do it, listen, if you don't feel it, can't nobody make you feel something you don't feel. We all learn and we all do in our own time. <clears throat> but don't play. All right, you guys. I love you all with the love of the Lord and there's nothing you can do about that. It is my prayer that... um with your whole heart, you jump in both feet in this in this believer thing, in this in this God thing, in, in in this love of God thing, glory to God thing. It is my prayer that with your whole heart you do so, and that it it is also my prayer that you reap all of the blessings that come from being in love. With the God of light, the God of mercy, the lifter of our heads, huh, huh, the balm, yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, the healer, the deliverer, the restorer, the replenisher, hmm, the one who gives grace and mercy, El Shaddai, our protector, yeah, 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 see, you're going to get so much more than you give, you ain't got to worry about Worry about that. You got to worry about your giving. Give a love that's felt in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Y'all going to have a wonderful day. And until next time, honeybees. Mwah.